And the final piece of this wonderful homework is number 56. We have send that falls over a conveyor belt and it makes a 15 degrees below horizontal angle. That is your initial velocity. So let's go ahead and split our X and Y and write down what we have. So horizontally, I know six times cosine of 15 degrees. And I'm after D, which is the horizontal displacement. So D will be Vx times change in T. Well, I know the Vx, but I don't know change in T. Where am I going to get it? <gasps> From the vertical, you are so right. Vy initial, very important here, darlings. It is negative because it's below the horizontal. Six sine of 15. Let's end enters the pipe three meters below the end of the conveyor belt. So therefore, I also know that my change in Y is negative. 3.0 meters, and I know that g is negative 9.8 meters per second. Guess what? Everything is negative. I forgot the minus in here. Consider positive direction going downward, so I don't have to worry about the minuses. So displacement, which is 3, will be equal v initial, which is 1.55 times time, plus 4.9 times time squared. I'm going to graph. When I graph this, I get two zeros. One is negative, which cannot be applicable here. Because time was never negative, so I get the 6.64 for my time. That is how long it takes to fall. Three meters with initial velocity of, uh, what is it, 1.55, 1.5, 1 1.6 meters per second with acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8. So we found our time to be 0.64 seconds. And then you just plug it in here, a distance becomes 5.8 times 0.64, 3.7. So D is 3.7 meters. That's the answer to number 56. You're welcome.